morning. Today we're going to be mostly playing a little bit of So yes, today we're playing some black metal. <laughs> now, I'm not great at this style, but I do enjoy it. I really enjoy the challenge of it. I enjoy playing this style of music, and I like variety. That's what I'm all about in my playing. I love playing different styles, and uh, you just gotta be sensible with it. Obviously, I'm not great at this style, so I have to try and do what, what I do and try and make myself sound that way. Um, obviously I'm not going to play a mambo over a black metal song got to try and keep it in the style the reason they're getting me to do it I'm actually doing the whole album and at the minute they've got programmed drums which they have so they have a good idea I get a good idea of what feel they're going for and then on the parts that I physically can't play <laughs> I uh, have to change it and simplify it a little bit but I do try and keep it in the style I try my hardest to do uh, what the music needs obviously there's limitations I'm not you know I'm not that great at this style of music uh, but they've chosen me to do it so I'm gonna do it I did tell them there was other people but they seem to like what I've done so far and they like my feel which I think is important is it's weird a lot of people don't realize that even in uh, like music like that where it's really really heavy they still care about feel it's not just about how many notes you play on your feet in a set amount of time how fast you can play you know, they've picked me to do it for a reason, and I'm really happy with it. I love variety in what I do, and it's good fun. It's completely out of my comfort zone, I'm not going to lie. But like I say, their tracks already have drums, so I get already have drums in them when they send them to me. So I have a good idea of what kind of feel they're going for and stuff. They just need me to re-record it and give it a more human feel, rather than the programmed drums. And that's what I'm doing, to the best of my ability. And so far it seems to be working well. They seem happy with it. It's good. Tiring though. Oh my. I don't know how these people gig like this. Honestly. Like like a Slipknot tour or something. No thanks. But I'd be... I don't know what I'd do. I'd have to lose weight straight away. Before I even thought about it. But my legs. Oh. I've got muscles in my legs. Just from this one recording session yesterday. Can't believe it high kick now I reckon I won't try just in case I think I could metal guys out there is it normal to slide in some sketches loafers 
midway for a recording session because your feet won't go fast enough in your normal trainers. Sketches. The choice of metal drummers. And the metal track's done. I came up with uh, quite a nice part in the end. I was quite happy with it. Tiring there, my shoulders are killing. Uh, I had to do quite a few takes. They wanted a video recording as well, which doesn't always happen, but sometimes you get requested to do a video as well. Um, and because I'm not an actual member of the band, I just did it from the camera above so that you can see the drums playing, but not necessarily see my face and stuff. Not that I wouldn't want to be associated with them, but you know, I am just a almost just a hired gun and not a full band member. I'm just playing this album, I think, and that'll be it. They'll have a different drummer to play gigs and stuff. So, yeah, I've done that, recorded the video. So, because I recorded the video, I had to try and do it in one take, which is obviously a lot harder. Not, I mean, I, I enjoy doing things in one take, I much prefer it. I, I always feel better about it if I can do that. But with some of the metal tracks before, obviously my stamina is not great at that style of music. So previously I've um, had to like paste myself in towards the end and things. If there's, a, if there's a bit that's particularly quick or something like that. And I noticed towards the end of this one, my timing slipped a little bit. But you know, once you've done like seven takes or eight takes, maybe even more than that, you know, my arms were aching. I definitely wasn't playing at my best, but it's not a song that I know I haven't run it a million times. It's it's a song that I've just, well, just written a quick chart out for, basically. And like I say, it's quite a complex arrangement. So I think I've done well to do it in one take in the space of less than a day while teaching. Um, I feel happy with it. I'm, I'm, I'm happy with it. They'll probably have to move a couple of bass drums or something. But on the whole, it's not too bad. Not too bad at all. And the video will work, it'll all work together. But I'm just being completely honest with you. I'm not going to say, oh yeah, I smashed it in one take and that was it, it was great, it was easy. It wasn't. I had to change my shoes. My shoes were too heavy, my feet couldn't go as fast as I wanted them to. So I put my old trusty sketches on, the loafers. They made my feet go faster. And I was sweating, <laughs> honestly. <laughs> not that I'm out of shape drumming well. I mean, I play play gigs for hours and hours and hours, no worries. But it's just this intense music. Obviously, I'm not used to playing it anymore. I haven't played this style of music in ages. It was so much fun. So much fun. Um, I've, got out my, I've got a Virgil Donati drum book. You see all my drum books behind me. I collect drum books. Bit of a psycho. But I've got a really nice Virgil Donati book. You should check out if you want to get into like really serious double bass playing. It's called uh, Bass Drum Freedom, I think. I'll, uh, I'll show you in a minute. Yeah, this is the book I've been using, Virgil Donati, Double Bass Drum Freedom. It's really advanced, it goes straight away, uh, left foot lead, things like that. If you're getting really, really serious about double pedal, it's a fantastic book. Another book I've worked through in the past is a book by Derek Roddy, I can't remember what it's called. I lent it to a student and never got it back. Annoying, but I've got that one. And then I've also got a Louis Bolson double bass book, but that's not going to be much use in this context. Virgil Donati book was definitely helpful and like I say it's nice to play play styles of music where you have to actually practice to be able to play it you know doing things like this it makes you a better player out of your comfort zone best place to be enjoyed it <laughs>